Right, a very quick tutorial on how to use uh, Ableton Live to control the scenes uh, function on XFX2. Um, just going to load up a new live set here. And first things first, I want to set the XFX2 as the output MIDI device, so anything, anything that's um, on a channel strip outputting MIDI would go to the XFX2. So that's on this section here, and you want to turn track to on. Sync and remote can be left alone, but uh, track must be on. Okay. Next thing to do is on the channel strip, set MIDI 2. It says now no output by default, you want to set it to XFX2. And you'll double click on the slot at the top to add a new 1 bar loop, or 4 bar loop. 1 bar loop. Okay. Uh, if you click on the envelopes button down here, that brings up the envelopes tab. And in the two drop boxes, one says MIDI control, and you want to leave that to say MIDI control. And the other option is to select the controller, and you want controller number 34, which is the controller for uh, the scenes on the XFX by default. And then the red line, which across, as you probably know, across is time. And you want to set, if for scene number one, everything is zero. Now for scene number two, everything is one. So on the uh, second beat of the bar, I'm going to change it to a number one, like that. There's my number one. And on scene, uh, sorry, on bar, beat number two. Three, I'm going to change to a scene 8, so choosing uh, level 7, and then on number 4, I'm going to bring it back down to uh, scene 4, which would be number 3. So we've got something that looks a little bit like that. Okay, and then when we press play on the track, we should Providing the outputs are set to MIDI 2 Axe FX2, the scene should change on the front panel here. And it does. Okay. And there's the, uh, the track looping away, and uh, that's the end of the tutorial.